How's it going folks? My name is Jared, the channel is Cali Cruising, we do everything outdoors. And in today's episode I'm doing some upgrades on my rooftop tent. So I have the Go Fast Camper Super Light, it's an amazing tent, hard shell tent, and I'm going to be adding some lights to it and some power. So I have some LED strip lights that I'm going to add on the ceiling in kind of a U shape. And then I'm going to put some 12 volt power up there. I have some other little accessories that I'm working on, so it's going to be really cool. And this will also apply for pretty much any rooftop tent that you may have that has kind of a similar setup. should totally work for you, so this is the perfect video. So you got to stay tuned. So here's the lights that I have. Just got these on a really good Amazon Black Friday deal. They change colors and they go with the music. So this should be pretty cool. And I got some solar wire, it's like 10 gauge. I'm gonna run it all the way from my battery and get that up to the tent. That way I have power there and I don't have to worry about like bringing a jacket or anything because it is a little tight up in this rooftop tent. And so I just wanna have the power be as powerful but as at the same time as small as possible. So I think the first thing I'll do is try to route this power up to the camper and that way I kind of have an idea that I have enough cable. And if I do, then I should be good to do the lights. So, guys, stay tuned. So, here's the overview of all of the stuff that we're going to be installing. You have the lights, obviously, that I showed you earlier. So, let's just take it from the top. So, I have the two... Um, these are solar wires basically, so it's silicone, it's waterproof, but I'm going to be putting it into this flex tubing to protect it from the harsh elements. And I have all my connectors, so I just got kind of like these boxes from Amazon, and these are, um, you know, heat shrink tubes. These little connectors will connect to that, and then it has an Anderson connector, which I have extensions for, which haven't come yet. And then this will all plug into this blue C's DC socket and then you'll have this splitter go into that socket it'll give us a voltage reading it has two USBs two 12 volts and a, a type C so this will supply power for this so this splitter will actually supply power not only for the lights but also for a heated blanket or if I wanted to bring a fan up there you can charge your phone with it so it's kind of a custom solution that I've been doing a lot of research with and should be pretty cool so the first step that I'm going to do is take these wires, I'm going to open them up and I'm going to put it through the flex tubing. I'm going to route it through the truck and that'll just be my foundation. And from there, I'll be able to tinker with these different connectors, put this inside the tent, put this in there and pretty much um, start this as well. Additionally, you're going to need a pair of wire clippers as well as wire strippers. I have some electrical tape and plenty of zip ties. Okay, so if you're going to be kind of recreating what I'm doing here. I recommend grabbing your MC4 adapter here and just kind of making sure that you have it oriented. So this is red, so it's this positive. So I went ahead and made sure it fits and I made a mark on the end here. Kind of hard to see because it's black on black, but I did a plus mark on this one and I did a minus mark on this one. Just, you know, make sure that you're aware of that because once you put it in the tubing, it may be easy to forget and you don't want to have any issues, you don't want to have any short circuiting. So um, yeah, just make sure to do that. Okay, so now that I got all of my uh, wires wrapped in this uh, split conduit, I'm going to go ahead and feed it through um, the areas of my truck. 
So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna actually start at the rooftop tent and work my way towards the engine bay uh, because I don't have those big MC4 connectors that'll be in my way, it'll just be just the half inch conduit. So I'll just kind of like zip tie it to the tower as I go, just to like kind of like make it clean. And then I'll use the string to help me guide it from the uh, wheel well up to the engine bay because you can't really get your hand in there and should be pretty good. So that's our first step. Okay, so I got my 20 feet of my positive and negative MC4 cable and I'm going to start by taking the MC4 ends and I'm going to zip tie it somewhere out of here, out of the way, probably on the inside of the tower there and I'll work my way down, I'll tie it to this string that I have and that'll help me feed it through the engine bay once I get yeah, there. So I'm actually going to take my MC4 to Anderson connection, I'm going to plug it in, make sure that I have the ability to either leave this permanently or be able to take it off because I'm kind of figuring out as I go. I'll go ahead and plug these guys in, click, and click, nice. So my general idea is on my tent here, I have this double zipper system so I can actually access the inside right here. Let me give you guys a close up. So right here, I have two zippers and I actually have a hole right there. And I actually have a hole right there as you can see that I can kind of zip up to the wire. So I'll just kind of stab it right through there and everything will just sit right in here. So I'll feed my Anderson connectors through this hole here as possible. Yeah, exactly. So I'll go ahead and just start with the zip tie just to get this guy kind of roughly positioned where I want it. Do my best to tie to this guy. So now, I'm going to start by just feeding this wire, right, come in, make sure I get all the string I can, just gently feed this here, right on the inside of that truck frame. Pull out some of the slack. Okay, so far I have the Anderson connector going inside the tent here. Have my MC4 connectors here on the back side. Got it zip tied, wires hidden. I need to still work on this part of the wire, figuring out how to eventually get it to cinch in. I may have to put something in this channel and then kind of bolt this to it because I want it to look very clean. I can start working my way through this step and basically I'm just gonna be zip tying it to the body in various places. A few moments later. Whew. All right, folks, so I got it routed on the underside. I'll climb down there and show y'all clip the zip ties that I did. So let me show you what's going on in the engine here. So here's my wire right here. And I really wanted to come up back this way around where these conduits are but I just don't have enough length. Eventually I'm putting a second battery right here, so stay tuned for a future video. But for now I'm just gonna go straight up right there, staying away from the steering column, and then over, and I should have enough to get to my AGM battery right here. These LED lights don't draw very much and like charging your phone isn't gonna be very uh, power um, heavy either, so should be fine just for my next uh, camping trip to try out these lights, so. I'm gonna zip tie the rest of this, and uh, it's getting a little late, so I'm gonna finish this all tomorrow, so you gotta stay tuned. Okay, give you another quick overview. So this trail's there, goes right down there, hit in behind that little piece. When you climb down here, you can see I have it zip tied right there, so I'll go ahead and clip that, and then it goes right along this edge, so it's very clean zip tied it's nice and tight the next day okay so time to make my connections here so I marked it 
This one is my positive. This one's my negative. I'll go ahead and start by putting a red um, heat shrink on the positive just so I remember what's what real quick. Beautiful. So I got my positive and my negative. I'm gonna go ahead and um, heat uh, melt this heat shrink a little bit. All right guys, so getting pretty close here to the end. Finally just got the last bit of supplies that I needed, it, which is pretty much the 12 volt plug, as well as this extender for the SAE connector. This one I may not even use. Um, pretty much gonna still keep the power on the left side of the tent, and then I'm just gonna use this extra cable right here to uh, be able to power the lights on the right side. Kind of like a win-win, that way I have stuff on the right, stuff on the left doesn't get too crowded on one side. So I'm gonna start by getting this SAE connector cut and attached to this 12 volt plug right here. That way we know that we're guaranteed to have power and then I'm gonna try to cut this and hopefully be able to splice it into this guy right here. So gotta stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start by cutting one side of this off. Slide this guy off. Okay, perfect. Now, strip some insulation back. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so now that I got the wire stripped, I'm gonna go ahead and crimp it onto my right my connector here. So I'll put this guy into the crimpers, and I'll go ahead and do the positive first. Beautiful fit. Wires right there. Give it a good crimp. Okay, just like that. Okay, beautiful. So these two will connect right to my plug here, but um, before I heat shrink it, I'm gonna keep going with my, my other plug. Okay, so now I just have to heat shrink my last two connections here. Slide it up onto the connectors first. I got a couple bigger pieces on here. Should be fine. So I just want everything to be nice and clean and organized. All right guys, so I got all the connections made. Now I'm gonna just show you how it all connects together then put it up in the tent. So you start with your SAE connector, which is the one that is connected to the solar panel MC4 connectors. It's just an extension. So this loops around right here. These are the connections we just made. Plugs into my Blue Sea Systems 12 volt plug. Then I have this cool splitter that I got also from Amazon and it has two 12 volt plugs, two USBs, and a USB type C. That obviously connects over here. You have our splice, and then this is what we'll plug in to our light. So let's go put it in. All right, we're up here in the tent. So here's our wires. Have our SAE connector that's stubbed out through the zipper here. So this is what I'm gonna be connecting to first. Okay, I got that connection made. I'm gonna coil up this cord here and zip tie it. That way it's nice and neat in the corner. I didn't really need this month's extension, but I wanted to have more than I needed. So it's just getting ready to zip tie and I realize I have voltage. Let's go, I'm at 12.7. My battery is charged. Okay, so I got my wires a little bit more tidy. So I'm gonna try to tuck it back here, show you guys kind of what I'm working on. As much out of the way as possible. I mean, you're always gonna have this wire kind of dangling there, but at the same time, you kind of go something like that. As long as people can access and plug in their phones or whatever you need up here, it should be fine. I mean, I'm really happy. So now I'm gonna uh, route this wire underneath the mattress here around to the plug. All right, let's fire this up, see what happens. Whoa, let there be light. Just like that, we have lights. My system worked here. At first it wasn't working, but then I just had to click this button. So you could see it has a breaker, so off. 
and on. That's actually kind of convenient to have a hardwired button within easily that you can easily reach. And then the left one, when you turn it on, it actually has a cool LED light. So when you turn it on, the left one, you have a cool little LED light comes on. So you know, boom, we're at 12.6. You know what you're looking at. Wow. Last thing I wanted to show you guys, I kind of cleaned this up a little. I put some tape right there and zip tied it all nice, cut it off and put some flume on this guy. So yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. So, you know, adding lights and 12 volt power to your rooftop tent is no easy task, but it's definitely worth it. As long as you um, follow this guide, you should be pretty much fine. I'll be sure to leave everything in the link below. That way you guys can find what you're looking for or even alternatives to it. And um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see other content like this, please uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. My name is Jared. The channel is Cali Cruising. Until next time. Peace.